won't get far by our next guest. Now, we're going a little bit further east yet. Just uh, a touch. In our very own, very large, very beautiful country, Canada. We uh, started in Toronto. We're going all the way uh, to New Brunswick for our next guest. Uh, he has two self-produced albums, one in nine, uh, 2014, Midnight Revelation, and then 2016, a couple of years later, Within the Shadow of the Chapel. Nominated for Music New Brunswick Solo Recording of the Year. Please welcome to the show, Ryan Hillier. Ryan, thanks so much for doing this. How's life in New Brunswick? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, and uh, it's, uh, it's nice to be talking to you from... Uh... The beautiful East Coast. Uh, well, that's just it. How is the beautiful East Coast? Is it uh, is it cold there yet, or what's going on? It's it's cold tonight. Yeah, I was just uh, I was at work earlier and walked home. It, it was a very windy day out here, so the the winds of winter are coming. And 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 real quick question off topic, but I have to ask because you're closer, you're a whole lot closer than I am. Uh, have they found the Oak Island treasure yet? <laughs> they haven't found it yet, but when they do. I'm going to be the first to know. <laughs> Shoot, you got to phone me when they do, man. I am hooked. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I'm right on the doorstep. I'll be down there. So, Ryan, uh, tell our listeners on SoundShakerRadio.com and Bill and Paul Face the Music a little bit about yourself, how you got into music. Yeah, I mean, I've, um, I kind of grew up with music. I, uh, my mother was a, uh, played in a band when she was 16. She did, uh, you know, little town hall shows and... Uh, She's from the North Shore, Nova Scotia, the same as my dad. And um, so, when I was growing up, um, she would always be singing and and uh, playing the guitar in church. And and um, my dad played the banjo a little bit, although I I didn't I don't remember him playing when I was a kid. I think he it was uh, it was he kind of uh, let it go after a, a few years, but he still got his old banjo. But um, yeah, it was very much. I kind I think kind of in the um in the family. So, you know, I I would, you know, get into singing at church. I like the uh I just like the the hymns and stuff like that, but uh you know, I thought the, the content was kind of boring, you know, no offense to anybody, but uh the singing part was great. I always enjoyed that. And uh over time I I took piano lessons for a little a, a year or so when I was a kid and couldn't stick with it, but I was in I was in band when I was in school for a number of years, all the way through high school. So I was always involved, like some way, and I just always loved music. And it wasn't until I moved um, to the East Coast after working out west for a little bit that I actually started, um, picked up a guitar, taught myself how to play it, um, just by watching, you know, some people around town just play, and um, I started writing songs. So. It just was very organic. Um, yeah, I, I, I just I'm a self-taught musician. Like I've never kind of taken lessons or anything like that. I just I've I watched people and I figured it out and and uh, eventually got some stage time in a little place called Plan B. A, a friend of mine, uh, Brock Lant, was the the booking manager there, and he put me on the stage and and uh, kind of uh, it's just been a, a a journey from from there. So that's my beginnings. Ryan, how'd you find your own sound? How do, how do you how do you step away from everybody who's doing all of the same stuff and mm. brand Ryan Hillier as something different and something that people have to listen to? Well, I think it goes. I think it honestly goes back to what I was just saying: is that I I'm I have no formal training, so. Um, my expression of uh you know that comes through uh, on an instrument on on in the songwriting or whatever it's just raw like um it's only um it's only me just deciding what to do and so i don't have any preconceived idea about what music should be right like i have things that i like and i have the medium that i go through but um as far as like the inspiration and everything like that. I just try and I just try and get to the the core of what it is, and I I try not to. I, th I think I just try not to think about it too much because once you get bogged down in thinking about what things should sound like, you're not letting them sound like well what they are or whatever. So I think just stylistically, I've never been really. I, I've never tried to be anything else. Just 
I just wanted to make music that I wanted to listen to. And I think that's really, I think that's really a key. So Ryan, are you uh, the type of uh, songwriter that likes to kind of sit by yourself and, and come up with something and then, you know, put a melody together and then maybe come up with a lyric and, uh, and go from there? Or, uh, you know, do you like to collaborate with somebody? How does that work? Honestly, I love, I love it all. Like um, my own kind of personal little process, it kind of changes over time, but I, I just kind of get, try and get better at um, catching those little things when they come to you, like a melody or, or a line or whatever. I just try and save everything and eventually it'll, it, it'll, it'll be put together in kind of a, <laughs> you know, like a, a Voltron or of, of a song or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, I also love doing like songwriters workshops. I love, um, sitting with people and bouncing ideas back and forth. Like, I just love that the whole process, whatever, you know, formation it is, whether it's with other people or whether it's by myself, like, I just think it's, it's so fun to, um, they're like little puzzles, you know, and you, you, you gotta just kind of put them together or take them apart, whichever you kind of think about it, whichever way you think about it. Yeah, for sure. Ryan, we've got a listener X cat X and wants to know all about your musical influences. Ooh, I mean that's that's a great question. I mean, I I have to go um, right off the top. I, I'm such a huge fan of Neil Young, and uh, I'm sure many many um, other kind of singer songwriters and and songwriters in general can can uh, relate. He is one of those people, like you were just talking about, who de- just developed his own sound just by the nature of just having you know you know almost no filter and just letting. Uh, letting whatever was coming through him, you know, be directed through the instrument, through his voice, uh, and all that stuff. Like he's very, very, just a, a natural, you know. So that's a big one. We're speaking with uh, Ryan Hillier. I'm Bill and Paul. Face the music on SoundSugarRadio.com. So Ryan, you mentioned that you've had no no uh, formal training. So are you completely self-taught? Do you read music? Uh, how does that work? Yeah, I mean, I, I I taught myself how to play the guitar. I was um, I wanted to play the drums when I was really little, and uh, I think uh, I still I still am just trying to work on teaching myself everything I can learn. You know, music is so huge, and there's just mm-hmm. so um, there's kind of a never ending um, journey of knowledge that you can just get better and learn different ways of doing things. So, oh, for sure. Um, yeah, I'm I'm trying to. I've, I bought a. I recently bought a house in the last couple of years and I, one of the first things I bought was uh, a piano. I didn't buy it. It's one of the free ones, you know, you can find on Kijiji. People are always giving them away, it seems. So yeah. I had the money to, to pay for a moving um, company to, to get it and bring it in here. And uh, I got it all tuned up just uh, nice. recently. And so I've been, uh, yeah, I've been messing around with that. And it's just such a, such a beautiful um, sounding instrument. And I had just like a, a really great connection with the piano. I just find it so, uh, it just feels natural to play to me. Uh, and, uh, so I've been working on that. I've been working on my theory. I've been doing some YouTube, uh, lessons and whatnot. So. <laughs> you can learn lots on YouTube. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm, uh, I'm reading a write up about you. Uh, one of many that I read this week as we speak, and it's talk, it talks a lot about tenacity, right? I wonder if you can just speak a little about, tenacity and perseverance in the music industry. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, it's, it's, um, uh, it's a tough go, uh, uh, you know, for anybody who wants to be in, in any kind of, um, if you want to be an expressive musician, if you want to be an artist or you want to be an entertainer, I mean, making those decisions and, and then interacting with the industry and, and, uh, figuring out where exactly you want to fit in and how best to to make what you want to have happen work and finding those relationships and and um really just just being comfortable that's a very difficult you know thing to figure out there's so many moving parts and it's just such a uh it's such a big uh the industry side is is can be a little daunting for sure um but uh I think it's just really important to always stay focused on being happy with, you know, what you're doing. And, and if you're, if you're at the end of the day, if you're, if you're doing something that you're happy with and you can honestly say that, you know, you're bringing 
joy and, 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 and happiness into your own life and you feel good about it, then that's where you should be. Um, so you should always, I think, be kind of trying to make your decisions from that, from that place. So Ryan, we've been asking a lot of the uh, artists that we've had on Bill and Paul Face the Music on our Thursday night music night, what have you been doing during this pandemic? Like obviously you can't play live shows right now, so are you busy writing? What are you working on? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on a new album actually. I've, I've been in the kind of writing process for quite some time. The The last album, No Excuses, was uh, quite a long time in production, so I was actually kind of started writing stuff while we were still recording and finishing that one up so um i'm probably going to make another demo for an album over this winter and then i'll just kind of have that uh and and uh decide when to when to go back into the studio at some point and, and do that but uh i've been doing live streams on uh on my uh my youtube channel and doing those from home and just kind of just trying to find other interesting things that kind of relate to the music that I can uh, have some fun with. So it's hard. It, it, it can be a challenge sometimes. I, uh, I It hasn't been easy, but uh, a lot of the stuff is uh, that I have done has been uh, pretty rewarding. So that's nice. All right. What's your jam, Ryan? And I, what I mean by that is, is your jam in the studio? Is that where you just, is that, is that your, ha- is that your Nirvana or are you, is your Nirvana on stage? Where's your, where's Ryan's happy place? You know, I would have to honestly say it's probably the studio. Like, I I love performing. Um, that's a totally different trip. But the studio is like, I just love that whole process of like getting in there and just having the song and breaking things apart and then, you know, making things, experimenting and, and you know, all the little fancy doodads and, and gadgets and buttons and switches. And I just love messing around with sounds. It I used to do that at a very early age. I used to make, you know, cassette tapes. I would record, you know, stuff off the radio and do like a, a little DJ, uh, you know, thing. I have a whole tape <laughs> that I have here that was recorded, I'm sure, when I was, I think, like seven or, I don't know, maybe even younger. Uh, that is me just freestyling like an entire radio show, which is hilarious. But um, I think I've always had that just kind of, a desire to just have fun with with noise and and sound and I, that's that's all I'm trying to do you know I'm just trying to to have fun and so the studio is like such a great spot for that because it is just if you if you're in there with the right people and and you know you can just have so much fun and just make it such an enjoyable experience which is really for me what music is it's what it should be you know ryan uh, as you were talking about that both paul and i were here nodding our heads about that you know i used to do the same thing as, as a kid i would you know uh record stuff i would act like i'm doing a radio show or i tried to do multi-track recording onto cassettes so i would record a guitar riff then i would record a bass line and i'd put the cassettes in and out of cassette decks and re-record until i had multiple instruments on 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 one <laughs> one track oh, so, wow you see you're fan that's fancy that that's was, fancy that, stuff it, it took me forever, though. <laughs> you should try his spaghetti. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the that's the old 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 school way of doing it, you know. And I mean, I've I've I come up through you know not having a computer. My generation, you know, we I, I remember not having a computer at all, and then having one and being like so amazed, and then figuring out how to how to make noise and record things on it, and you know, yeah. messing around with all these little sound yeah. programs and just yeah. over and over and over again, just seeing what you could do, seeing what's possible. So super fun. Now it's just like the world's your oyster, right? So yeah, you, you can got do it. anything. Yeah, you got it. Ryan, talk about yeah. No Excuses. No Excuses is the third album that I've made. And it's the first, I would, I mean, it's, it's the first kind of what I would say full length album. It's, it's um, almost 40 minutes of uh, material in it. It, um, it was a long process of, um, of from writing to production and quite the journey I went on personally, uh, to get from having an idea to make, you know, a final album. Cause at the point of when I started the idea to, to make it, I was like, well, I'll make one more album and then I'll, you know, that'll be it for music and I'll do something else. And it turns out that wasn't the case, which is very fortunate, but, um, uh, yeah, so I really just put kind of everything I had into this into this record, and uh, it's been really nice to 
to get the feedback and and to hear so many people kind of connect with it and re- and relate to some of the stuff on it and uh, just to enjoy the enjoy the music. So Ryan, we've only got about thirty seconds left. So uh, just quickly, um, tell our SoundSugarRadio.com listeners where they can uh, find out more about you, get your music, etc. And also, we're going to close this interview off by playing "Falling Into," which is off of new excu- uh, "No Excuses." So can you tell us a little bit about that as well? Sure, sure. I mean, uh, I'll talk about "Falling Into" first. That's a um, that's a song that I kind of wrote about. Um, it had to do with uh, just the mental state that uh, I was in at the time. I had just gone through um, a really um, a heartbreaking experience, breaking up with uh, with someone, and uh, so it's a little bit about separation and and uh, what that experience is like, and just being able to find yourself uh, after that and to, to you know make yourself feel okay and. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a song I really like on the album. And uh, if you want to find that song, if you want to find more songs uh, from me, you can go to my website, which is ryanhillier.net. It's R-Y-A-N-H-I-L-L-I-E-R.net. And all my stuff is there if you need to find anything about me. I'm there. Sounds great. Well, Ryan, we want to thank you for being on Bill and Paul Face the Music uh, tonight. Great uh, tracks. Looking forward to playing the, the next one. Ryan, uh, right. a- anybody who references Neil Young is all right by me. So thanks very much for uh, thanks very much for coming on. All the best to you. Uh, you've got a new fan in me. I absolutely love your sound. Uh, keep persevering and uh, just doing what you do. Yeah, hopefully uh, when uh, tours are allowed to go and, and artists such as yourself are allowed to get out and play live, hopefully it'll get out our way uh, out in the Edmonton area and uh, Paul and I will be there. We'd love to. I used to live in Edmonton, so it'd be nice to come back. There you go. Awesome. Love to have you back here. Thanks so much, Ryan. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. SoundSugarRadio.com. You got it. Thanks so much. All right. This is uh, Fall Into by Ryan Hillier. Sometimes I wonder how I ever get out of these. 